Tinasi, you my hero. Welcome back, Kane's family, to another film review back to back on some mammoths, bro. I mean, Campbell is 6 6, Jaden Wilkerson, new commit. It's both out of that Orlando -ish area, just transferred to Edgewater, 6 7, 300 pounds. I ain't gonna lie, when he had like this thing on his highlights, I'm like, who is he? And then I see him stand up, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it's gotta be him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because the circle covers the whole offensive line. Uh, but you could tell very quickly uh, who's manhandling everybody, even, you know, Teammate crime is going to – good job by the receiver blocking downfield. I F with that effort. Sometimes that big man just going to roll up on you a little bit. But big time get six, seven, three hundred thirty 330 pounds. Like I guess people really don't know how big that is until, like, you see him in person. But because even on film, he looks like a mammoth. But I could tell, like, you see him in person, like, that's probably a dude. What are they looking for when they're doing these evaluations? Obviously, you can't coach six, seven, three thirty. Um, you know, you've seen what they did when they brought Cooper in that size. Kinsler's coming along perfectly fine, came in at that size. He's probably going to be a starter for us next year and being at two deep for sure this year. Um, but what are they looking for? See the movement skills for his size. I mean, he's going to go against a guy who's at least a hundred pounds, maybe two hundred pounds lighter than him uh, as a speed rusher here off this edge. Look at that first step back. That dude does not weigh more than 190 pounds, and he's able to beat him to that spot and make sure his quarterback, you know, doesn't even have to step up and do nothing crazy, you know, to get away from this sack, bro. That is perfect the way you teach it. That's just a great, great athleticism. You can't coach that. That's something that they're just going to get the technique and technique instilled into them and just have that big man year one, year two. You know, that's, this is a guy as a redshirt sophomore to be the anchor of the line. I just had to put this in. Here he is just downstepping. It's going to be a uh, double team here. What the fudge cakes happened with this man helmet, bro? It was so funny. I had never seen this before in my life. But he took off his helmet <laughs> and then put it right back on. So, bro, he wasn't messing with him. Once his helmet came off, you see him take his hands off. Then once he put it back on, all right, bop. <laughs> put your ass right back over. That's funny as hell, bro. Gentle giant vibes. Uh, you could tell he once he seen the buddy with his helmet off, he ain't push him no more. Chilling, chilling, chilling. All right. Once you try to put that bill on, <coughs> extension, I'm going <laughs> to knock your ass over. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was funny. I've never seen that before. I watched a lot of tape. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Buddy playing hot potato with his helmet, trying to get to the ball, bro. <laughs> Crashing down here on a down block. Look how quick he looks. Like, you don't see him, right? He got some, he got some people covering him up. You'll see him once he, like, stands up. Look how quick he's just, it's just over. Can't miss him. He's right here. It's just over. Love the fact that he's able to shoot out of his stance, bro. That's one thing you would be worried about with a guy that big, you know, 6'6", 330. Is he a fucking statue? A big-ass statue, but no. <laughs> this boy can move. Again, that's the thing that we're going after. If you've seen all the commits, all the offensive linemen that we brought in since Mario's been here, 6'4", up, 300, up. You know, these guys can move. They're athletic. Because, remember, every, play, every offensive lineman for us, Plays guard and tackle. They are cross string. They might even play center if we go to practice and peep. Uh, so you need these type of bodies. Again, you can't coach six, seven, three thirty. This is a little bro ass moment right here, bro. Like, 
<laughs> it's the only way I could describe it. Just literally tossing that man, walking over him. This is the swagger of a Miami offensive line. This is the swagger of a Mario Coach Mario Cristobal, coach offensive lineman, and coach Mirabal, the GOAT. That boy was born in the barn, seen it on his birth certificate. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely a little bro ass moment. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna over here and tell you oh man this technique this this i think he needs to you know get coached up a year or two one of the best offensive line staff we have in the nation but these little bro moments gonna translate to saturday and that aggressiveness and that pop on tape i mean he's gonna fire off right here bro I'm gonna get a little piece of that right shoulder look what happened to that defender what happened to that boy he down there. I, I wish I could do slow-mo. Can I do slow-mo? We checking here. Right shoulder. Buddy down. That's a man down. Oh, damn. What happened to that boy? And, oh, my God. And then he laid on him after. But that boy punctured a lung, my G. But, again, this is what we getting. Big-time athlete. He can move. He's big. 6'7", 330. I'm saying it over and over again because, bro, I don't think y'all met somebody who's 6'7". You see that in person, like that's basketball height. You know what I'm saying? That's like a power forward height. You know what I'm saying? You about to take it to the rack, but I'm not a girl. I play football and I'm going to be 330 pounds blocking for you. This is a great get. Bro, straight Thanos that left tackle right now. Look at this push, right? Initial double team pushing off. I know you can't see it right now with that little, little glare in the camera, but this is him right now pushing that entire pile. Right here, push, 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 push. Overflow. Right here. Again, he's at left tackle. So love this combo block. Got the inside shoulder and outside shoulder from his guard. I mean, inside or uh, outside shoulder, I guess, from the guard, his inside shoulder. And then guard passes him off just for him to just go ahead and finish the pancake. Laying on him, bro. Dog, that maybe let me not pause it there. That looked bad, <laughs> but uh, love the tenacity, love the land on him, bro. Imagine you're a defender, right? And this guy, six, seven, three thirty, just lands on you, bro. One, there goes a lung. Two, you're not gonna want to do that all game, bro. It's a physical, it's a wear and tear on their body, mentally on their body. You're just getting dogged all damn day by somebody that's just physically bigger and stronger than you, bro. That's gonna change some morals. And this running back, low key sliding. Here come the dead leg. <clears throat> Boy sliding. Pancake gang. Yeah, again. So, Coach Mirabal, thank you for doing what you do. Coach Cristobal, thank you for doing what you do. The offensive line has been a complete U-turn from what it was in 2022 when you guys inherited it. Uh, so, we're just going to have faith and go ahead and develop some more first-round picks. Go Canes.